let alpha and beta be the roots x square minus x plus p equal to 0. So alpha plus beta is 1, alpha beta is p. Gamma and delta be the roots x square minus 4x plus q equal to 0. Gamma plus delta is equal to 4. Gamma delta is equal to q. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta are in geometric progression. Fine. Brilliant. Alpha plus beta is 1. Think about it. This is gamma. Alpha, alpha r, alpha r. This is alpha into common ratio square. This is beta into common ratio square. Common ratio square into alpha plus beta is 4. Or common ratio square is 4. Common ratio is plus or minus 2. Brilliant. So the, the, the ratio is plus 2 or minus 2. One of the two. And so the roots of this equation could be sum of the roots is 1. So either talking about alpha plus 2 alpha equal to 1. Or alpha minus 2 alpha is equal to 1. One of the two. Right? So alpha plus 2 alpha is 1. That means alpha is 1 by 3. And beta is 2 by 3. Or alpha is minus 1. Beta is 2. The two possibilities. So we have a geometric progression starting 1 by 3. 2 by 3 into 2. 4 by 3 into 2. 8 by 3 into 2. Or we have minus 1 into 2, 2, minus 4, 8. These are the two possibilities. Right? Alpha into beta is P. These are alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Straight away we can say that this we don't need to worry about because we are not looking at fractions. Alpha, beta, the numbers are telling us that P and Q are integers. P and Q are integers clearly given. These are the values. Alpha into beta is P, P is minus 2. Gamma into delta is Q, delta is minus 32. Then P plus Q, minus 2 plus minus 32 is minus 34. Done.